Oof, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I'm squidding like crazy right now. I'm getting a workout on my legs. The purpose of this video is gonna be very simple. I've been riding this Super 73 around for a little over a week now, and I wanted to give a long-term-ish review on what I feel is a good use for this bike and if you should buy it. For those of you that don't know what I'm riding right now, I'm riding around a Super 73 Model S. So the only real difference, there's a bunch of different models, but the only real difference um, from the base model to this one is that this one has a removable battery and has pedal assist. Pedal assist in a very basic description, when you pedal, like right now, the fucking motor assists you. That's essentially why I got this one is because I want a little bit of a workout, but I wanted to be able to just like pedal around and have the motor assist me without really thinking about it. Like many of you probably watching this video, you were thinking about getting an electric bike or a Super 73, whatever brand you were thinking about, because it's easy to charge, the battery pops right off, you don't need a license, you could drive it around in the city, you don't need insurance, registration, fairly straightforward. But who are these e-bikes really for? Now that I've had this bike for a few weeks now and I've been riding it every single day this week, I've quickly realized that the, the e-bike industry is, you know, misconstrued. Um, and I think a lot of people go into the whole realm of e-bikes thinking they're gonna get one of two things and they're really not getting either of those. And that's one, a good formed bicycle for commuting. And two, people go into it, looking into it as, you know, an alternative to a motorcycle. Now, I wanna go into a little bit of explanation as to why both of those are completely, you know, and inherently wrong. This isn't a good bicycle. It sucks as a bicycle, actually. You know, the seat is wide enough where it makes it awkward to pedal for long periods of time. You know, you get like a little rubbing slash chafing on the inside of your legs because the seat is wide. It's not like a regular bicycle seat. So really after a while of pedaling, especially the seat position, you're not getting a full stroke. It's just not ideal. It's actually annoying to pedal for long periods of time. I liked the design of this one and that's why I went with it. There's a bunch of different ones on the market now that all have the same design. A lot of them are made in China. I liked how Super 73 had a lot of their stuff being done in the United States and their facility is not too far from me. So if anything did happen, I could get parts and uh, talk with them pretty easily. One of the things that you have to realize about going into this is it's not, it is not a motorcycle alternative. You're not going anywhere fast. You don't have the range to really go anywhere important. And for all of you that don't know already, the range is somewhere between 20 to 30 miles, right? And that's with pedaling and having the motor assist you. That is not taking into consideration just full flogging of the throttle. Now, if you go into this thinking that it's going to be a motorcycle alternative, you will quickly be disappointed because with a range of about, let's say a realistic range of about 15 miles, it's not completely a motorcycle alternative, which is really a shame because if you start looking at the e-bike at uh, the e-bike ecosystem as a whole, you start to realize that a lot of these bikes are very expensive. Um, you have the Suron, which is 4,000 and change, you know, a 40 mile range. Um, you have a couple of the other e-bikes that have around 30 to 50 miles. You have the Onyx um, that claims that it has a ridiculous range. But if you read the fine print, they all go back on what they say by saying, you know, this is in realistic conditions and this is using pedal assist, not throttle only. And really, most of the form factors of e-bikes are not ideal for pedaling. They're just not. You know, it's not a formed form factor of bicycle that really uh, is efficient when it comes to pedaling. So once you start pedaling for long periods of time, it, it becomes exhausting. That being said, 
it's cool. It is a cool bike. Although it is a terrible alternative to riding a bicycle or a normal e-bike, and although it is a terrible alternative for motorcycles, it does serve its own purpose. And I personally like this bike for things that I would do on a pit bike. For me to try to explain what I mean by how this is an alternative to a pit bike, because yes, it doesn't have suspension, it doesn't have, you know, the dirt bike plastics, it doesn't have, you know, the performance, but for what the main purpose of what a pit bike really is, this is a great alternative. What, where does the Super 73 kind of fit in the whole ecosystem of bike slash motorcycle? I really believe that it fits best when you describe it as, a, you know, a hooligan bike. Something that you can take places that you couldn't normally take, you know, a gas scooter, 49cc scooter, or a gas pit bike. Something that you can bring around without no annoying your neighbors, going places and taking it on little fun adventures that you normally wouldn't take bikes like this. It is good for doing some fun like hooligan stuff with friends. Now, if you don't have friends that have a Super 73, should you buy this bike? And I, I really don't know what the answer to that is. I, I know that you could still have a ton of fun, but you kind of fall into that category, that Grom category. It's like you can't really go a whole lot of places because of the top speed is limited. And on top of the top speed being limited, now you're dealing with a charging problem or a range problem in the case of, of this Super 73. Now you can go out and buy a bunch of batteries, but then in that case, it's like, you know, does it really make sense that I'm spending all this money on, you know, this electric bike that really, it, isn't really that practical. This whole conversation comes down to is, is this a practical way to get around? And the answer to that is no. It's not a practical way to get around, but I don't think it actually ever was supposed to be. I think the reason why they made this was just, you know, to rip around town, a beach town or the city. It's great for the city. Um, I love it here in Los Angeles. Don't get me wrong. I love that I could just click the fucking throttle and, and take off and not have to pedal. I probably won't keep this forever, that being said, but I think it does serve its purpose. I, I like it as a grocery getter. I like it as, you know, a go somewhere where motorcycles would potentially get in trouble. It's not a good bicycle. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. If you're getting this, planning on riding it and just putting it in eco and, and riding it around, yes, you can do that. I've been doing it now for two weeks straight but it's not a lot of fun. It's really not fun at all. And that's just mainly because it takes a lot of effort in this sitting position, especially with the seat this wide. You kind of have to bow your legs out and sitting this low with your knees coming up to your chest. It's, you know, it's just uh, not an ideal cycling position. That being said, it is a lot of fun and I can't demote it for that because it is just so much fun to take this thing places where I would never ever be able to take a motorcycle legally or throw a pit bike in the back of my SUV and lean it on its side and have all the gas and oil go everywhere. This thing, I can just chuck it anywhere, not have to worry about oil, don't have to worry about maintenance just make sure it's charged. If you're considering buying one of these, know that you should not be buying it to replace a bicycle and you should not be buying it to replace a motorcycle, but you should be getting it purely based off of the hooliganness of just being able to hit the throttle and, and go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the capabilities of the Super 73 in a realistic point of view, let me know. I will make a video on it. I will answer your questions if you message me on Instagram or in the comments below. You know, I, I really do appreciate you guys and everything that you do 
and giving me the time of day on my videos so don't feel bad if you know you're leaving what the fucking shit leave a like leave a dislike comment if you want to ask me any questions you feel like asking me and i promise that i will answer them peace out Bad